No one saw it coming. Not at first. No ancient myths spoke of it. No telescope was pointed its way. And yet, it was already here, gliding through the solar system on a path no object had ever taken before. A stranger, an intruder, an interstellar visitor. October 19th, 2017. The Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii spotted something unusual. A speck of light moving too fast, on a path too steep. Within hours, astronomers realized. This object wasn't from around here. It wasn't bound to the gravity of our sun. It wasn't circling the solar system like a comet or asteroid. It was moving too fast to be caught. Too free. Too alien. Umuamua. They named it after a Hawaiian word meaning scout or messenger from the distant past. Because that's what it felt like. A visitor, not a local. It came from the direction of the Lyra constellation, more than four light years away. But its true origin? Unknown. It could have drifted through interstellar space for a billion years or more. Shaped by collisions, scarred by radiation, a relic of something ancient and forgotten. But its behavior, its shape, its motion, everything about it was wrong. Let's start with its dimensions. This object was about 2,600 feet long and only 260 feet wide. Imagine a skyscraper laid flat, 10 times longer than it is thick, hurtling through the solar system. Some said it looked like a cigar. Others said a flat shard. Either way, nothing like it had ever been seen. Its rotation was even weirder. Oumuamua tumbled, not smoothly, but erratically, as if it had been spun by violence. It flickered in brightness every few hours, likely from the way it spun, reflecting sunlight unevenly. It was unlike any asteroid or comet we had ever tracked. But the biggest shock came when it sped up. Objects in space follow gravity. They come in, they swing by, and they slow down as they move away from the sun. Umuamua didn't. It accelerated, by a small but measurable amount. No visible tail, no outgassing, no debris, nothing that could explain it. Most comets speed up because they vent gases as they heat near the sun. A little cosmic rocket engine. But Oumuamua showed no signs of this. No gas, no ice. Nothing you'd expect from a comet. Some scientists said maybe the gas venting happened in a strange way we couldn't detect. Others argued it might be made of solid hydrogen ice, evaporating invisibly. But that would mean it had to form in conditions so cold, colder than any known region in space, and somehow survive the journey. And then came the alien theories. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb proposed the boldest idea. Oumuamua might be artificial, a light sail, a thin structure pushed by starlight. Not a natural object, but a probe, a messenger, maybe even a derelict alien spacecraft. He was met with skepticism, even mockery. But the question refused to die, because this object wasn't just mysterious. It was alone. When comets and asteroids arrive from the Oort cloud, the distant icy boundary of our solar system, they usually come in groups, families, trails. But Oumuamua had no siblings, no dust, no debris, no fragments. Just one odd object. Oumuamua was not considered a threat to Earth during its passage through our solar system. Its trajectory was well calculated and it was moving away from the sun and earth at a high speed of about 196,000 miles per hour, approximately 55 miles per second. The closest approach to earth occurred on September 9, 2017, when it was about 24 million miles away. This distance is significantly farther than the moon, making any impact highly unlikely, and it is not large enough to be classified as a planet killer. For context, an asteroid larger than 6.2 miles in diameter is considered extinction class, capable of causing catastrophic damage if it were to collide with Earth. If Oumuamua had entered Earth's atmosphere, it would have likely vaporized due to the intense heat generated by friction, creating a bright meteor but not causing significant damage. In January 2022, 
researchers proposed a mission called Project Lyra, which aims to send a spacecraft to intercept Oumuamua. The idea is to launch a spacecraft in 2030, which could reach the object in about 26 years. This mission would allow for closer studies and potentially gather more data about its composition and behavior. Given the vast distances involved, Oumuamua is now moving away from Earth at an incredible speed. Any signal sent would take a long time to reach it, and the chances of receiving a response are extremely low. The object is also no longer in a position where it can be easily observed or studied. Was it a fragment of a shattered world? Was it ejected during the formation of another solar system, flung by gravity into the dark? Was it a piece of alien tech no longer functioning, just drifting? Or maybe it was a natural object, unlike any we've ever seen. Something we can't categorize yet because our cosmic vocabulary is still too small. Its surface was dark, reddish, colored by centuries, perhaps millennia of exposure to cosmic radiation. Possibly rich in metals. Possibly carbon heavy. We don't know. We had only 11 days to observe it with telescopes before it slipped out of range into deep space. No spacecraft was ready to intercept it. And now, it's gone. Flying silently, beyond the reach of our eyes, out into the black. Oumuamua was a first, the first object we've seen from another star system visiting ours. But now that we know how to look, we've seen more. In 2019, a second interstellar object was spotted. 2i slash Borisov, a comet, different from Oumuamua more traditional, more expected, which made Oumuamua stand out even more because now we had a baseline and we knew that this messenger was still the strangest of them all. What was it? A sliver of something ancient? A failed machine from a lost civilization? A cosmic scout? And what if it wasn't the first? What if others have come and we just didn't see them? What if others will come again? What if Oumuamua was the beginning of something bigger or worse? The end of something we'll never understand. A message, a warning, a ghost. We don't know, but we're watching now. Because the universe just whispered to us. And next time, we'll be listening. Or a message? <laughs>